we just pour the bag of concrete in here, mix some water in, and then this thing will sit here and spin, and it mixes it up. Makes it and then this pad already in here, and we just pulled this area. And we ran out. We got a little. back to Ruth Farms. It is Saturday. It is July the 8th. Um, I haven't really got a whole lot of footage this week. Uh, just been kind of peeling, uh, getting caught up from the uh, Thresher's reunion. Um, but I didn't show you guys uh, during the Thresher's reunion, but Coleman and I actually went and picked up a tire changer and a tire balancer and a couple other pieces of tire equipment. Um, our local tire uh, changing guy, he passed away a few months ago. And um, needless to say, I'm tired of paying $20, $25 a tire to get a tire changed at other places. Uh, so we went out and bought our own. Uh, had to do a little work on them. Still got to do a little work on them, but they're going to work good enough for us for do our truck and car tires and our trailer tires and that type of thing. Um, but today we are going to pour a little concrete pad behind my shop inside the shed. Um, so we'll have a place to change tires. So I'm going to bring you guys with us and let y'all get a little taste of what we're doing. It's a little change up from what we normally do with the farming thing, but maybe y'all like it. So we're here behind the shop. Coleman and I went and picked up about 30 bags of sacrete last night. We've got a buddy of ours mixer, concrete mixer. So we've got, I actually had these pads poured when I built my shop. My other tire changer was on here. We got it set in place. We got the tire bouncer. This was set on a random pad I had. Got our little tire changers mounted on a pad and then my air compressor's always been mounted there. Got our plan, we got this form up here and there. We're gonna pour this little patch here and there'll be a board from here to the corner of that pad. And we're gonna pour all this so we'll have one solid concrete pad to work on, change our tires. And then eventually we're gonna build a gate here. This is where the sheep come in. So, I'll see how it goes, but we'll bring y'all along with us. About ready to start pouring. I'm gonna take a little diesel fuel. Get a little diesel fuel in my little pump up spray here. Spray down my little forms. That just helps keep the concrete from sticking. I'm gonna do my shovel right here. the bag of concrete in here, mix some water in, and then this thing will sit here and spin and it mixes it up. Makes it up.
back here a couple hours later um we got the pad poured about 30 bags of sacrete it don't look pretty we're not professionals by no means but we're about done waiting on it to dry off a little more so we can finish smoothing it out and then do a broom finish but here she is so we already had this pad this pad that pad and this pad already in here so we just pulled this area we ran out we got a little shy. We wasn't planning on pouring this, but we had a little extra. So we got a little low down here, as y'all can see there. Down there, we just kind of smoothed it out as level as we could get. And then I just kind of tapered this edge here. So it worked. Hopefully, it'll dry up. Looked pretty good, and we'll be able to do some power changing out here. We're pretty much done with our, uh, our concrete here. I've got here in this hand, this is a smoothing trowel. This is an edging trowel. It's got this rounded edge just to help put a rounded edge here. I've already hit everything once with both. And we've actually already hit it with a broom a little bit, but I'm just gonna come back and show you guys a little bit. So for this, just take put that, put the rounded edge up here against your, uh, like whatever edging you're using. And you just take it and run it through it. Well guys, we got done with the concrete. We went to go get us some lunch and came back and Mother Nature is giving us some rain. Thank you, Lord. Just eyeballing the rain gauge from here, I'd say we've already had at least half an inch, which is great because our corn was needing it and our little beans is coming up. They're needing it too. Thank you, Lord, for the rain. We needed it. Welcome back, guys. Uh, it's been several hours since I last brought you with us. Uh, we ended up getting pretty close to an inch of rain, um, eight, nine tenths probably. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, yeah, we got the, uh, got a little 
I'm doing. Got the cover back on, cover back on. I'm crazy drying up. About ready.